mind patch solution presents another technical video for filemaker tutorial welcome to another filemaker technical video hi i am manjeet behra here we will discuss how you can create the popover which is the advanced object introduced in Formica 13. I will explain you how you can create popover, how design FileMaker popover and the different types of popover that you can create using this FileMaker 13. This is the basic setting that available in FileMaker for designing Popovo. You can follow these stuffs, setting stuffs and you okay the Popovo. Let's see one example by creating a popo. Go to layout more. Here is the layout menu from where you can select different types of object. The popo is comes under the button. The here is the normal button and another one is popo button. You can select that and then you can do this this popover get create you can do a name here pop title This is to show over here. If you click this, the title will appear here. You can give a name to the popover button, shape, pop button. Right? And this is the title you given here, or you can edit it. You can give a calculation by selecting some fields and to whatever you want to put calculation. This is how you can name or if you click this then the name will be disappear from here. And to resize this will just in this way you can give the size to adding the style you go over here select this popover is to the outer designing and if you select the content then you will give the internal designing that is to give the fill color or if you want and other things like the border and blah blah you can give here shall it then you can give one you can select a color from here it will design the color and this is all about the title if you and designing if you want to change the pop up opening here it is comes opening to the right here if you want to open it to the left then you just select this one this will appear over here when user click on this button it will open there like this if you want to open it from top it will click this one this will appear like this if you want to op open it from 
button to top you select this one it will appear like this and if you want to attach some shift trigger you can select over here so that it will do like uh, uh, you do for the normal object let's enable this and we will select this one then we shave it go to browse if you click this one the popover will open here let's go for a normal example of popover here this is a popover which is static one and there is no more settings and yeah, just a simple setting that I have shown you over there if you click the power will open if you go the style sector the designing the title is open here and this is the right open setting this is a simple one let's see a dynamic popover a dynamic popover is that according to the condition you can open the popover that there is no any special setting available for do that you can write some scripting to open the popover according to your choice here the conditional field is here if you put to it will open the second popover like this if you put one it will open the first popover the first popover if you see the background thing there is no any popover visible to you this is just an script which doing the stuff this is the script to show you the popover there is no complex setting you want you just sense the condition this is the condition uh, here I am putting the field and directly putting the condition that if it is one then it will show the first popover if it is two it will open the second popover like that you can provide some calculation over here and then you can navigate to the popover and to open a popover you need to set go to object script step and the object name of the popover and this is to enable the object popover object always I have used the condition for the if you see here here I have put the condition that popover 2 will appear if it's enabled <coughs> by the script this this is the hidden object so this is the setting <coughs> if you see the name of the popover is given here don't confuse that the popover object name will be given here nothing like that uh, or to the op button you need to put the name to the popover contain this one then the setting that I have already shown you and here is the script trigger that is uh, running while closing it to disable it 
anything you can set for that and on clicking this the uh, conditional power open script will run and according to that it will open the script this this is the settings okay we hope you have enjoyed this video tutorial for more you can visit us our contact is here mind for solutions and you can follow us on different network thank you to get the solution file you can go to the link this and you can download the example file and you can uh, follow the settings that are available there thank you once again visit us we will bring you more thank you